Now to the sudden spike in shootings in Chicago over the weekend, one of the most violent in recent memory. The numbers are jaw dropping. 12 people were killed and 54 others were shot in an outbreak of gun violence. It all happened between 6 p.m. Friday and 12 Sunday night. It adds up to heartache for countless friends and families. Roseanne Tejas has been looking into why this is happening. She joins us That's live right, to Rob. shed some why light were on there that. Roseanne? So many killings that we could barely keep a tally as the numbers continued to climb. Gangs, guns, and drugs are familiar reasons, but why are some weekends relatively quiet and others especially deadly? Even in a city used to high crime, the crime tape, the tears, and the loss seemed too much to bear this weekend in Chicago. With 33 shooting incidents, was there a common denominator? People have asked me, is it the weather, is it this, is it that? No, it's the, it's the psychology of the people pulling these triggers. That's what it is. If these shootings are revenge shootings. This Southside resident turned anti-crime activist Camila Williams says it is often retaliation. She's lost 30 friends, relatives, students, and neighbors in just the last 12 years. She says one killing often leads to the next and so on and so on. She says the young offenders have no coping skills. This is about to me respect, power. You disrespected me. You got on the internet and you embarrass me. Let's fight. So block parties and clubs are off limits for her. Like if you live in a certain community and they know you live in that community and you cross over to their community, it makes you an automatic target. But Superintendent Johnson says somebody knows what did happen and they can't stop the killing without help. Somebody knows who did it. They do. Superintendent Johnson calling on everybody to do their part, calling on the public to report the shooters. So far, there have been no arrests in last weekend's violence. Live in the control room, Roseanne Teus, CBS 2 News. Rob? Okay, Roseanne, thank you. Well, a visibly distressed Mayor Rahm Emanuel offered a gloomy perspective on the weekend of carnage. We have a heavy heart. Our souls are burdened. What happened this weekend did not happen in every neighborhood in Chicago, but it is unacceptable to happen in any neighborhood of Chicago. Emanuel had nothing to say about the critical comments former New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani had on Twitter. Said Giuliani, Chicago murders are a direct result of one-party Democratic rule for decades. Policing genius Jerry McCarthy can do for Chicago what I did for NYC. Slashed homicides over 70 percent. Tens of thousands of lives saved. Giuliani misspelled McCarthy's name, which is Gary with a G. McCarthy, who's running against Emanuel in the February election, had this to say, I am pr proud Democrat and I do not agree with Mayor Giuliani's political views and I certainly remain opposed to the misguided, divisive tone and policies of Donald Trump. Well, the murder victims from this weekend's violence include a woman who wanted to be a lawyer, a construction worker, and a teen attempting to retrieve his bike from thieves. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemigno joins us live from police headquarters. And Suzanne, it's not only their families impacted, but those who live in the neighborhood as well. Rob, I spoke with a woman who says every single morning when she wakes up, all she does is think about her family's safety. She says the violence has changed not only the way she thinks, but the way she lives. How has the community changed in 50 years? Ooh, it has changed tremendously. Gloria Muldrow remembers a time when there were no boarded up homes on her block in Lawndale or drive by shootings in the community. Muldrow lives just four blocks away from 16th and Avers, where a person died and four people were shot early Sunday morning. We should be able to walk free. We should be able to go where we want to go. We can't do that now. I feel that our life should be like the North Side people life. We should be at peace. We spoke sitting on the steps to Muldrow's front porch, something she never allows her family to do. There's too much violence and you don't know which way the bullets is going to come from. You feel like you're a prisoner in your own house. Yeah, and that, that's true. You can't even stand on your porch because you don't know if somebody is going to come by and start shooting. The grandmother of seven and great-grandmother of five says a day at the neighborhood park or a walk to the nearby convenience store isn't an option for the young people in her family. You feel just in your heart the solution really is parents need to be parents. Yes. Yes. So I'm not going to fault the police. I'm not going to fault the mayor. 
it starts at home first. Muldrow also says parents teaching their children how to live and be productive in society would also help to stem the violence in her community. And she also says getting jobs for the young people who really need them and resources would help too. Live at 35th and Michigan, Chicago Police Headquarters, Suzanne Lemonio, CBS 2 News. Rob. Yeah, really eye-opening comments there, Suzanne. Thank you. Tonight at 6.